It's a beautiful day, people, and you're welcome to another exciting edition of the Listen Up podcast here on the Independent Ghana TV. And as you all know, the Listen Up podcast, we share our views on social issues. I am Diana Nutriga. As always, you know the name. You can always call me Miss D. Yes, so today we're going to have a very interesting discussion. It's something that has been going on for a while now. Sugar mummies and sugar daddies. Why do we need to have sugar mummies and sugar daddies in our life? What is their, their use in our life? What is the importance in our lives? But to have this discussion with me, I have two lovely people in the studio. A gentleman and a lady. But before I allow them to introduce themselves, let's go for a quick breather. When we return, more on sugar daddies and sugar bummies. Welcome back from the break. If you just joined us, this is the Listen Up podcast here on the Independent Ghana TV. I told you before the break that my lovely guests are seated in the studio to have this discussion with me. But before I introduce them, let's all pick our phones, our tablets, our iPads, and quick, and let's do this quick assignment. So go to YouTube and search the independent scanner. Yes, when you're done, click on the subscribe button so you can get more of our videos. And also go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and follow us at the Independent Ghana. Are you done? Yay! So wait, you can also log on to the independentghana.com for more of our news stories. If you just did that, congratulations and welcome to the Independent Ghana family. So I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves. I'm going to start from the gentleman. Can you kindly introduce yourself? Okay, uh, so I'm Chris. I'm a digital marketer and a sports analyst. Chris what? Chris Tete. Nice. And our lady in yellow. <laughs> yeah, my name is Amanda Pate. Welcome Amanda and Chris to the Listen Up podcast. You're all looking colorful. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes, so today we are discussing sugar mummies and sugar daddies. It's something that has been going on in the country for God knows how long. So when we say sugar mummy or sugar daddy, how do you understand it, Chris? Um, sugar, first the name is sugar mummy or sugar daddy, and we all know that when we talk about something that sugar, the sugar means sweet. So in a layman's um, understanding, there will maybe a sweet pattern or something like that. But the sugar mummy, as we all know, is dating an older person, someone who is way older than you. I wouldn't say someone who is older than you by five years is a sugar mummy. But maybe 10 years or more, I can say that person is a sugar man. So being, simply being in a relationship with an older person. Amanda, do you have a sugar daddy? I don't have a sugar daddy. <laughs> okay, share, share with us your thoughts on what's a sugar daddy. Uh, a sugar daddy is um, a man who is way older than me and has a lot of money. Somebody who makes life easier for me. Those who are interested soft in the life. Sugar. Soft life, soft <laughs> life, soft life. sugar daddy is here, basically. Okay, so you know me, I always like to Google the definition of sugar mummy and sugar daddy. So the definition here says, a sugar mummy or daddy refers to a man or woman who is often married, who gives financial support, typically to a younger lover. I think I agree with that because it's usually financial support they give to the younger ones, you know, like support them through school and all that, but it's not for free. As I give you money, give me something, you know, in exchange. So, um, Amanda, why do you think the younger ones really go for sugar mummies and sugar daddies? Um, first of all, I, I, I don't think that anybody would want to um, put a, themselves in a situation that society frowns upon. Um, but, then, but then the troubles and the hardships of this world, precisely even in our economy right now, yeah. will lure somebody, will put somebody in a situation where they will think of getting a sugar daddy. Okay. 
okay and yeah a lot of times a lot of times just to satisfy basic and sometimes major major needs that's true yeah so that is why somebody will go in for sugar that uh chris do you think that uh, the younger ones going for sugar ladies and sugar mummies do you think it's actually making them lazy because then in their minds they feel like okay instead of me to work hard i can just easily go for a sugar mummy or sugar daddy too finance I, whatever I, 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 I just think it's an excuse the young one needs to go for that because you can't say because i'm going to have to do the only way there are options that you choose to go in for the sugar daddy or sugar man so i don't think the young ones like it's a choice because look, you can be going through the most difficult time, but it doesn't mean taking a sugar mango sugar that is the only way out. You know? There are several ways out. So I make think, life easy. I think it's just an, an excuse to do what they want to do. That they okay, I'm, I'm in hardship. I'm, I think they are all just excuses. But at times, yeah. you don't know the kind of hardship the person is going through. Probably the person has lost yeah. both parents. Exactly there are a lot of hardships. Exactly that point, I realize that. Over time, I have come to realize that it is easier for us to say things when we have not experienced Thank you very it. much. You have not experienced okay. it. Yeah. Um, I, I know a lot of people who will not get sugar daddies if not for some kind of situations they found themselves in. So because I don't have a sugar daddy, because I equally went through hardships, but because I decided to stand by my Christian values to say no, I am forcing it on somebody to also say no and shouldn't make their situations an excuse to get sugar daddies. But I believe that you should be, you, you should you should put yourself in their shoes to say that and it's just an excuse. I realize that we easily say it is just an excuse, but right? hey. It's like, it's like, you, you, like, should, like you, you are judging the person story. when you are not even the person's exactly. shoes. Exactly, you should That's hear true. people's stories. I can't say all those who have sugar mummies and sugar daddies and sugar daddies are doing it because of hardship. Not all of them. Some of them because of friends, influence, because like social media, like yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know, the trends, follow the trends, bah, get the latest iPhone. They want to be the big girls, want to be the big guys in town with cars and stuff. That's one of the reasons why most people go for sugar daddies. I, I understand if Amanda is saying you know, some people it's because of hardship they are going through, but I still think, you know, there's life at the end of the time. Mm -hmm. There are difficult women that are like, you know, there's no one to come How to. long are you going but to it mean, for that life at the end of the time? Mm -hmm. Look, it doesn't uh, I read something for Joe Austin. Joe Austin said, um, if you're going through difficult times and you go through with your moral values at the end, you will enjoy at the end. He cited many examples in the Bible. But the young ones don't have that patience. That's it. Because, so it's just excuses. Maybe like, you, 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 are, you are in the university. You are stuck. You can't pay your fees. You, you, but you still want to continue your education. And then, I, I won't even say your friend would even introduce you to the person. But maybe you are in a car. He approaches. Oh hi, something. Or you meet at an event. You could and then you exchange. You, you yeah. exchange contacts. Uh, yeah, more along. Young men are more along oh, too no. much. You could then you, you, you exchange contacts and then. As time goes on, he gets to know that, oh, you are struggling financially and he can support you. Back in school. And he will do that. And I, I feel, I don't really think there's anything wrong with yeah, that. Because at that, at that, well, some, some are having marital problems. Some are also divorced. So, no, like, yeah, I mean. It, like a young lady in her early 20s dating someone 50, 60 years. And that reminds this man me, is I want to ask, to for sex. I want so to ask, what, what is the age bracket for... The term sugar mommy and sugar daddy, can you determine the age bracket? Oh, maybe for Because earlier, you, earlier, earlier 10, in your submission, like somebody older than you. Maybe someone older than you, about 10 years and above, I can say maybe sugar daddy. But the 10 years cry is manageable, but so maybe like, so like, from so, 2015. So, yeah. so like you are 20 oh, you years and, be, and then your sugar daddy is 30 years? You can be 20 years. No. Yes, 20 and 30, years, I wouldn't say it's, 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 it's so sugar. of a sugar daddy. <laughs> but oh, it's just 10 years, it's just 10 years. Maybe from um, 20 to 30. Okay, I wouldn't so classify that as a sugar daddy. Let's, let's, but like let's 50, about, um, 60, I, I read it's a sugar daddy. From 35 years and above, and above can yeah, be termed as a sugar man. The age starts from 35 years and above. That is what I read. And so, yeah. So let's talk about yeah, some of was, the 
بوده نه میسه نیگتیف امپکت دت دس هو شی گو تو شی گو هاز اون یانگ وانس بیکاز فور می وات پوزیتیو دی اونلی پوزیتیو ایز یو گت مانی افتر دی مانی وات ایلز ایت نوت جست مانی سام ای گوت استابلش دم آی هاف ا فرند هو اونز ا ریستورانت بیکاز هر شی گو دی سپانسر هی شی اونز ا ریستورانت نو وات 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 کایند اف بری هی وات کایند اف بری شی بری اوت سی دیس دیس بوا اوت دی نوت هم انرژی تو دو ایلیت And that's what you are saying. That's, that's your mind. <laughs> she has that's a restaurant no. because she has a sugar daddy. Yeah. And she has established herself. Those, 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 those more than like, is it that easy? It's so easy. Okay, those so and look, the rich are like... Educator, since you are so against educator. I, I, I'm so against it because like, I mean, for young men, Cradius is worse. Like, a young man in your early 20s, Instead of you to get a young girl who you could flow with, with a vibe. Sugar mommy is giving all the money you want. Which vibe? Sugar mommy is giving all the money you want. Who is going to control your life? Like, <laughs> look, they really control most them? ladies, ladies, bosses, they are controlling. Like, I have had my own experience. How much more a lady who like, you know, has money than you gives you money? Or for a time, they are expected to come. They expect you to be there. So oh. 20 hours cry and I only need to pour. Open, open, open. It's our next shift. You're giving me money. I give you sex. Open, open. Like, At the end, we are both enjoying. Second, you also. Experience the sugar that is don't really get them giving them pressure. They come when they want. I mean, when the sugar daddy calls them, they come when they want. They want to come. They are not forced. And because they, they will get their money. I mean, if he, if they don't like, they are busy. They will make time for for them. Just, those just who are to get the most, money. Those who are pretty you most know? are uh, those dating married men and married women. Yeah, I know. Their their issue is worse because like, look, this is karma. Karma exists. <laughs> you are young today. You are in your early twenties. You think you are beautiful. You are nice. You are chasing someone's husband, destroying someone's home. No, just just imagine a young lady of his twenties like taking your dad away, destroying your home. Just just imagine how. At it that is. time, they are not thinking about that. They are thinking of what they can get. That's the instantly. point. Instantly. That's the point. Yes, that's the point. Even that's our celebrities, some of them even I've been looking for sugar, 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 You can't enjoy for so long. But for no, now they are. Things that come easy don't last. Okay, so what about, what about really? what about they getting the money from the sugar or sugar? I mean, investing it. Are you Most trying to tell me the investment is gonna die? Oh, like or you they're gonna say, suffer? Look, do you know? Do you agree mm-hmm. that some of these young girls are progressing in life? Thank you very much. The, 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 the oh, sponsors from the sugar, sugar financial support. If I want to take ten support. ladies with sugar, with sugar mommy or sugar daddy or something, that you, we only will like two or one uh-huh. who will be successful, like with whatever oh, she's doing. Only two please, or one. Please, I'm serious. please, that's a lie. Most of them. No. And the the most funny of part them, is that, have, like, do you have facts? They, they end up. Or have friends who are into See, sugar daddy, sugar mommy. The bottom line, especially the guys, the bottom line is we want to enjoy life. They want to enjoy life. There's more to life than enjoying life. That is the goal. There's Dude, more to life than just well. Look, cool. there's more to life than just are you like this well? No, look, you enjoy now. After what is that all? That's not the end of your life. Remember that this man is going to pass away. Oh, wait, you didn't know what your goal is. Or like, you need to get married. Or you don't want to get married. No, wait, you know what your goal is. I know what your goal is like. Yes, and I'm saying, the goal is to enjoy life. How long are you going to go? They don't care about what happens next. The goal is to enjoy life. So once that is attained, but let's look at, let's see. Amanda, let's look at also the other side of it. Whereby, I'm also thinking that maybe this elderly man and elderly woman are coercing or trying to convince not like they do it willingly but you know it's like they are using the sweet things to convince you but maybe you're not willing uh, especially the other under under aged ones like the 16 and below i mean that can be considered as a crime right oh that's weird right even if and under 16 no when under you go to court they'll tell you under 18 uh, is, is defilement I mean, uh, it's a yes. minor it's a I, minor the court will take it that it's a minor it's okay well, then we are then we are talking about different things the sugar one thing is the case where the young lady is interested the man is interested, interested. and they are going 
like they are going but, on the ambition. But I have, I have, no. I have, I have an experience in my area. Okay. Where there's this girl, she's in JHS two. Okay. And we see the kind of cars that come and park in front of the yeah, house to pick her up. To pick her up. Okay. So in this case, do you think it's a crime? Because and she she's she's allowing it because she wants it. She wants it. Yes, yes. that's the bottom line. But she, the thing is, she's it. also underage. Do you know that um, she's not if, eighteen? If you are not eighteen, being it a male or female, and this from what I've read and what I've heard, and um, we have a sexual intercourse with an elderly person, and it goes to court. It always favors the minor because the court takes that law like. He's a kid, he's a kid. But he's not can they also he's not take into consideration the fact no matter that matter what if the like, minor has accepted she's okay when she's no, not complaining? She's a minor. The court yeah. says she's a minor. And, she's she, not here, here, and here. she knows what she's doing. It's like she doesn't know. She knows. If the people child told her what you're doing, against you, people have told her what you're doing is bad, but she's getting all the flashy things, all the latest iPhones and things. She's Unless okay. she doesn't want to press charges against you. I don't think she will. Eh? I don't kind of think she's enjoying it. She will. <laughs> oh, but I'm just saying that in cases like that, I mean, it's, it's, it's considered it's a crime. You know, like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a crime. It's a crime. It's a crime. Okay, a crime. so Amanda, tell us some of the positive, positive things that as a sugar mommy or a sugar daddy or a young person involved in that act is, is enjoying. But if you don't like because of money, do you hate money? Don't like I don't like money. Sit at home. Sit at home. Put this suit down. Sit at home. If you don't and like grass. money, I'm working hard like just to get money. And you can, exactly. You're working hard just to get money. Somebody is working hard between her legs, and you're complaining. Is that your consignment? No. So I see no. The funny thing is that the benefits they are after all the fun. After all the fun, open your legs. Then you bring it to us. We the young men. Then you bring us. Say something. What's the bank account? Which girl? Your bank account will reflect a gargantuan sum of money. Oh my god! I mean, you have a car. You have somebody who fuels the car for you. Oh my goodness! I mean, transporting yourself to places is is easy. You know, see, back in school, see, everybody likes cow. Back in school, there was this girl that we, you know, we know was into those fraud boys and she got, you know, all that kind of thing. And when she eventually got a car, hey, come and see the way girls were trooping into the car. You know, she's got to get some of the benefits. Before your friends, you know, you feel like you are the big girl. No. And when I was so, it's just for clout. When I was so, it's just for clout. I don't think you are this one. I'm very sorry. I don't think I did that. So, as for the benefits, like you can even venture into businesses, businesses because of the sugar that you should. Like that. Uh, yeah. And a lot of people, people, people have businesses because of the kind of men. The who came into their life as sugar yes. daddies. Some even come into their lives just to help. Not really. Has turned their lives around because they engage with sugar daddies. So yeah, the benefits you will get them. You will get them. And some of these girls, they are wise. They are wise on how they engage with the sugar That's daddies. True. They won't do sugar daddy in some sense. They won't do sugar daddy in some sense and be poor. They know how to play their cards. Smart and girls. And life is getting yeah, better for them. Well. You need to speak to your smart guys. Yeah. Let it's not my turn, right? <laughs> no. So after Amanda has finished speaking, I thank you for your thoughts. We will just allow you one minute each to give us your final thoughts on the whole sugar mommy and sugar daddy. My my still the same. No. Like, do you know something? Yeah, I'm just say no, no relationship leaves you neutral. This is from my pastor. And I've come to realize it's true. Look, after going through all this sugar mommy, sugar daddy thing, at the long run, most of these ladies will want to get married to young men. Why won't you marry the sugar daddy? Mm -hmm. So it will shock you. Wow. It will shock you. Some of them have boyfriends, and their boyfriends even and have boyfriends you know, because they don't get somebody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's just maybe a few guys who allow that, but you no, know, a, a guy who is correct, who is mature, wants to marry you, will never accept that. Go and have sex with the sugar daddy, and then come back to me. Let's have sex. It doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. To yeah. Me. yeah. But a guy that has that has a future for it at all. I like this lady. I want to marry this lady. Look, love is um, how do you call it? Selfish. Let me put that. Yeah, love is sure. selfish. If I love you, I can't tell you that we we'll have sex with a sugar that didn't come back to me. Doesn't make sense. And um, after going through all this thing, 
open your legs for this man, then you come back to me expecting me, a young man, to marry you. Like, it even destroys your sex life. It affects you in the long run to the extent that what you are getting with your sugar daddy, if you get to a time you have to leave him, you come and pick a young man, and you're not getting that much satisfaction, you, you, then you begin having quarrels with your husband, having quarrels with your young man. What makes you think that sugar daddy gives them satisfaction sexually? Not even if not satisfaction, I mean, the, the sex experience is, the, the is different. The goal is the money, it's not the sex. But you, I don't know, look, some of these old men are very good. They experience, they take drugs and stuff. Mm, I know. Oh, yes. Some of them take drugs because he, he knows that I'm paying. And at the end, he, he needs to enjoy to the max. And after that, you come back to a young man who is somewhere like thinking of building a family with you. <laughs> Hey, yeah, okay, Amanda, your, your final thoughts on uh, yeah, life is the full topic. Of choices. I chose to get a sugar daddy and uh, enjoy suffering. Life is full of choices. Somebody chose to get a sugar daddy to enjoy themselves. I mean, along the if After the enjoying, time, take the time comes run. and Jesus appears and you have to go to heaven, you go. If you have to go to hell, you go. So, <laughs> But just make sure you are, you are, you are doing the right. Even, make sure even, you are choosing the right. Make, make, I read make this sure, earlier. Allow, allow make sure you are wise with your decisions and choices. Yeah. I yeah. read this that um, you in, have less in, than in women, in older women, they have the high chance of um, contracting diseases. That's the uh, STDs and stuff. They, they protect themselves. Hello. Yeah, Look, yeah, most of these old women, I'm not They protect themselves. I'm not In brawful way. Oh no, person gin in your condom. Condom do I need? Person gin in your condom. And since he's pay, she's paying, you can't say no. I say young woman, take care of him. You have no say. Well, so you just do as she wishes. Well, and you become like a young man, you become like a puppet for an old woman to be. Hey, thank come you, here at this time. Hey, come here this time. Thank you, Chris, for sharing your thoughts on the issue. Oh. <laughs> thank you, Amanda. I really appreciate your, your you. thoughts, and I'm sure our lovely guests guests are also going to take a, a key or two from your thoughts. So um, you can also add your thoughts in the comment section. Um, thank you for staying with us. This all time will allow us. Um, don't forget, we have another exciting episode of the Listen Up podcast. Click on the subscribe button so you can get the, the notification when we upload our next video. So it's bye from us. I did this with Chris and Amanda. Big ups to Luigi and Kofi Korea behind the camera and the lights. I also thank my producers, Jess and Elsie. I love you. Adios, adios, adios. Bye.